Amanda Knox, the object of a worldwide mystery and tabloid sensation. She's the American college student overseas convicted of murdering her roommate, spending 1,400 days in an Italian prison before another court set her free. She knows that everything she says could put her freedom in jeopardy, but in a new book and an exclusive new interview, she says she wants to emerge from behind those lurid headlines. A medieval college town in Italy, two young women arrive for a year abroad, seeking new horizons, Meredith Kircher and Amanda Knox. Six weeks later, one of them comes home in a coffin. The other will become a global obsession, headline after headline, labeling her a sexual thrill seeker, a seductress. She devil with an angel face, Sphinx of Perugia. I haven't heard those. I mean, I've heard the gist of them. And uh, they're wrong. I was in the courtroom when they were calling me a devil. I mean, it's, it's one thing to be called certain things in the media, and then it's another thing to be sitting in a courtroom fighting for your life while people are calling you a devil. For all intents and purposes, I was a murderer, whether I was or not. And I had to live with the idea that that would be my life. She says everything she had ever posted online, every boyfriend in her life would come back to haunt her. What's the first thing you want people to know about you? I want the truth to come out. I, I'd like to be reconsidered as a person. What happened to me was surreal, but it could have happened to anyone. So what is the truth? What happened the night Meredith Kircher died? Amanda Knox at times open, <laughs> guarded, angry, in tears, says she is ready to speak and waiting to be heard. Her book will be in stores tomorrow, and tomorrow night you'll hear more of my exclusive interview with her, what she reveals about the murder, the mystery, and the road ahead. And now that her acquittal has been overturned, what is next? Amanda Knox, The Murder, The Mystery, a full hour tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 p.m. Central.